Campaigners who want Britain to quit the European Union claim Northern voters are swinging their way. The Vote Leave faction has spent the last two days targeting the northeastern Cumbria with visits to towns, cities and even cricket grounds. But their opponents insist they're losing the arguments. Our political editor Richard Moss reports on the latest war of words in the EU referendum. Big bus, check. Card-carrying enthusiasts, check. A puzzled public? Oh yes, it's another day of referendum campaigning. This visit to Newcastle part of a big two-day push by those who want to leave the EU. They say support is strong. I see an enthusiasm on our side that I've not seen on the Remain side and certainly there are areas of the North East where you can go and you literally cannot find a single person prepared to admit that they're voting to Remain. And as well as a bus, they've also thrown Boris Johnson at us. Chesler Street's less famous cricket ground, playing host to some less than textbook shots. The former London mayor was meeting England and Durham cricket legend Sir Ian Botham. While Boris and Beefy will never bat together, they are at one on the EU. So I was talking to a community nurse from, from Washington uh, in this area and she was saying uh, that, you know, she was thinking of voting for, for us, for voting for leave. And the thing that was really interesting her was we would get more money to spend on uh, projects like the National Health Service. If you take back control of £350 million a week, there's got to be some left over for things that really matter. I said to some people this morning, some guys I was talking to, and they said, people talk about the EU. If you were not in the EU and you stood here now and you looked at what's going on in the EU, would you join? I don't think so. Sir Ian also told reporters he feared Britain would become cluttered if it stayed in an EU, allowing free movement of people. There's also been quibbling about this claim on the bus. Britain's top statistician says it's misleading, saying our net contribution to the EU is at most £20 million a day. Both campaigns will continue to make their cases to voters over whether that offers value for money until June the 23rd. Richard Moss, BBC Look North.